Today we're showing you guys how to make bok ma'am. Now this is kind of a dipping sauce that you can eat with certain meats and vegetables. So let's go over the ingredients that you'll need to make a bok ma'am. Here we have ma'am. This is the actual main ingredient. We have kasang paste. We have 60 grams of that defrosting in this water. We have uh, mudfish paste or mudfish sauce. We have um, fish sauce. We have about 16 chilies, 4 pieces of garlic, 4 to 5 pieces actually. Uh, we have some MSG, always optional, you don't, you don't have to put this in. And we also have half a pound of shrimp. This is what we're going to eat it with. Um, you can also eat it with uh, you know, a grilled fish if you want to or chicken. Um, but I like to eat it with shrimp, obviously it's best. And we also have some uh, cucumber and, and an eggplant on the side that you can also eat it with. Uh, so yeah. So these are the ingredients that you'll need, and uh, let's get started. So the first step you want to take is roasting your chilies and garlic. We're going to get this nice and brown. So our chilies are done. Now we're going to go ahead and take it off the pan. And In the saucepan, we have three tablespoons of boiling water. And to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of the mudfish sauce, or baha. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cook this down just a little bit. Now I need to know you, Pana. I and when we add this into our sauce, or when we use this to make our sauce, make sure that it's cool, not hot. Okay, so that's it. And we're just gonna leave it here on the stove to cool down. <coughs> Okay, in the motor, you want to go ahead and add in your roasted chilies and garlic. And we're going to go ahead and crush this up. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add in our ma'am. We chopped it up. I'm going to add that in there. And we're using about 42 grams of that. If you want to be, if you want to be uh, precise. And now we're gonna go ahead and add in our kasang paste. And to that, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of MSG. Always optional. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and add in our pahal also known as the mudfish sauce that we had in the saucepan earlier. Now you want to make sure that it's cool. Now if it was hot, it makes the uh, the uh, bok uh, turn black and you don't want that. Okay, so that's it. And now we're ready to serve and eat. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cook our shrimp, and we're just going to boil it. Microwave. Microwave. Okay, so now let's uh, strain it and uh, plate it up. Okay guys, so here's our meal. Here's our bok ma'am. And, uh, what you want to do is you want to take some out of the bowl here. You're not going to eat it all, of course. But you also, what you need to do is actually uh, add some fish sauce into it. So I'll put this to the side. And uh, add as much as you like. Add about a quarter teaspoon or so. Mix it up. Okay, so let's start. Now we have some shrimp here that we uh, boiled. Just 
peel off some of the skin. There we go. Dip it in this uh, butt mom here. So here I have a piece of cucumber and half of a shrimp. Take some more of that uh, dipping sauce. Mm. Here I have a piece of eggplant, some more shrimp. Okay guys, so that's my mom's bomba arm. It's a very uh, tasty sauce, very spicy. Um, really don't know how to describe the taste, but it does have a strong uh, fish taste to it since we added mudfish and fish sauce at the same time. So give it a try, I know you guys would love it. Uh, especially if you have some shrimp laying around, just boil it, dip it. it tastes very good with the cucumber, obviously. I loved it with the cucumber. Uh, the cucumber was uh, cold from the fridge, so it kind of balances with the heat and uh yeah so that's my mom's but my arm i really hope you guys give it a try and uh thanks for watching have a good day bye